Good news, man, behind the scenes. Good news. This good is news. one of those days where I got a good night's sleep and woke up with another crazy idea. Yeah. We're gonna go to uh, Eliminator Accessories. All right, I think we both thought of this idea at the same time and called each other. <laughs> yeah. So here's what, here's what we're thinking. We got the other half of the lift axle we used to make the laminator build. Actually, it's the other quarter because we used two thirds of it over there, or three quarters. We have an extra skid steer adapter plate we bought up there at auction. Remember the auction video? You're like, why'd you buy two? I'm like, you just never know when you need a second. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I said buy them all. No, I don't think that. <laughs> you said, I thought we only needed one. Yeah. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. We got, so the eliminator unbolts from the rear assembly on this hub, right? So if we yep. strip this hub down, mount it to a skid steer plate, we can unbolt that, bolt it on here, and now it fits on the 240. Yes, we now go, I'm gonna run it. We can go 240, 210, <laughs> 120. So you can put it on three different machines. Yeah. Yes. Actually, it'll pretty much go on any 12 ton, 20 ton RCTL. Yes. This might just well, be the yeah. most versatile yep. limb saw eliminator in the yep. business. We're gonna have to do some metal eliminator. Yeah, here. well, <laughs> we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to do some, uh, as we do usually, some finagling yeah. to make this work. So, all right. So I think on this one, I don't think we need to get all fancy with the brake assembly. You're just gonna be, it's just gonna be a- one. I think it's gonna be either down or straight up and we'll just make two pinned locations. Mm -hmm. um, so I think with that being said, let's just cut the brake assembly off this axle yeah. all together. And um, then we'll figure out how we're gonna get it mounted on the plate, so. All right. All right, fire up the torch, let's Here fire fly. All right, let's make some brakes disappear. All right, I like that. You got the spring removal too? Yep, I got it right here. Liquid wrench coming out. Okay, man, behind the scenes, we can kind of see what we're working with now. Bunch we got of scrap. The, bunch of scrap. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have been a stack off Bubba yeah, Dubba one time. Yeah. I don't know what that was. That Somebody was some wouldn't listen to early it. Machine. Oh, you were making, that was your homemade pen. Is that what that was? Yeah. Didn't work either, so it's in the scrap pile. What's all this? Oh, that's art. Get a close That's up art. That's, that's art. art. That's what that is. Is yep. that flow control that's, in the stacks? That's a full pen well, that <laughs> is. Okay. So we got this adapter plate and these things are made to be like welded to a bucket or a <laughs> re rake. Uh, long story short, these things don't have a whole lot of structure to them. So we need to add structure to it mm -hmm. to support that. So 
We actually got some five inch tubing left over from the stacks on Bubba Dump. We're gonna cut these at 22 and a half degree angles. We're gonna put an upper support, a lower support, cause that's where the thing pretty much pulls. And then we're gonna turn around and cut a middle support to go between them, which this will mount to. So I think we need to zip these out. Then we're gonna have to figure out how to cut that at an angle. Yeah. Oh, simple. All right. That's simple. You get laid out, I'll cut We're gonna go way for crazy here. You ready? Voila. Got her beeped up now. <laughs> uh, what do you think? We wanna go ahead and tack? Yeah, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna get these tacked off good and then I need a weld. Right there? Right here and right here, down on the bottom before we put that in. Okay. <clears throat> well, I guess let's go ahead and get that centered up and tacked off. Yep. And then uh, we'll f the, the trickiest part of this whole operation is going to be cutting that angle on that spindle. All right. That's where you can use an eye instead of we. That's how we go are. ahead and use an eye. I'll get that. Hey, uh, that's ready for you to weld. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, using all these big fancy terminologies here. All right. She's flushed up. She's flushed up all the way around there, bud. through just a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna hurt anything. All right, we get this one centered up. That's bright. Six and a half. Take it, uh, actually don't move it. Which I have. It's come towards you about a quarter of an inch. Okay, you're getting close right there. Yep, that's it, let me double check this. Or, I mean, just a, just a. Okay, wait just yep. a little bit. Good. Tag it. Tag this a little bit. I like it. Good. Yep. That ain't centered yet, right? No, I need to center that yet, yeah. Uh, actually, I'm going to have to center it off. These are like a half inch different length, so I'll center it off this bottom one. Half of 39 is, what, 19 and a half? Is that right? No? 39, 19 yeah. and 19 is 38. Yeah, so half of 39 is 19 and a half. I was right, you talked me out of it. I didn't talk you out of You just mark center. I just, I, I just wanna get that well done. All right, hold on, I need to center this too. Eyeball. Five, two and a half. Eyeball. Oh, 
Do I have permission to install piece now? Now. Uh, that black line right there. I'm gonna put a weld down there, not sticking up. That ain't bad. No, it can't be. Weld it. It's not even hitting the weld. You I, like it? I do. I do. Go for it. My balls. All right, we're gonna throw into that spindle back up. We need to figure out how we're gonna get an angle cut on that thing. Aaron went ahead and welded all that out because not for sure how easy it's gonna be to get to once we get this spindle on here. So what we're trying to do is get a 22 and a half degree angle on this. So that way, whenever you're sitting in the seat and the thing is tilted all the way back, it should keep the blade about eye level out there in front of you and that should give you good control uh, both ways is kind of what we got in mind. So basically we need to cut a 22 degree angle around here. So how I mark this is, this is five inches, 22 degree angle over five inches is an inch and a half. So I come, I found the center on this side, center on this side, measured up an inch and a half, took a piece of tape, kind of connected the dots and that should, there's my center, my inch and a half, take that on back around and voila, that should be somewhat close to a 22 and a half degree angle around around five inch piece of pipe i guess we'll see if we cut that off and see what it looks like Way behind the scenes considering, that don't look half bad. No, it don't. It don't look half bad. I mean, I can weld it back on there and let you try, see if you can do better. Uh, I mean, nothing a welder can't handle. <laughs> well, Not me, I'm a welder. welder. Let's, let's put it up there and we'll be the judge of the cracks. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's still heavy. It's still heavy. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. All right, now, what's the top bottom here? Uh, that's the top. The top's facing you. So? It needs to angle towards you. There you go, like that. There you go. Oh yeah. I don't know exactly which way I need to turn it. Uh, this is the dead top. Okay, that's the dead top? Yep. Cause that's the ABS, that's the old ABS sensor is what okay. that is. Now, one thing we could do is we could torpedo level this way. Yeah. To make sure it ain't going left or right. Yeah. Oh. Uh, man, I don't look bad at all. Well, what? Before we get too carried away, I'd like to get that cleaned up before we tack it down. Yeah. Just, I think it's gonna work though, that's the main thing. Yeah. All right, so what this angle ends up being, which I think we're gonna be around 20 degrees, which is fine. This is actually more important as being level this way, right? Because that'd be straight left or right. Yeah. So it needs to go that way. They can't see me, I'm doing that. Yeah. That way. So I think you're right. If you want to put a tack on your left side and yeah. then we can tweak it over a little bit. Tweak it over, okay. yeah. All right, I agree. You agree? I agree. All right. 
Eyeballs. Eyeballs. Man, it almost, it almost drew where it needed to go. It needs to go just a little bit more. It ain't much. Oh, muscle man. All right, let's see where that's at right now. A little bit more. A little more. Don't break it off here, muscle. Here, I'll tell you what. Oh, oh, buddy. I think that's plenty close enough for what it is. Yeah. We're gonna end up about 18 degrees. So. So going horse. off to this. Uh, as far as where we're at here, we want that here. You know what I mean? So the bubble is right on this line here. So that's what we were at up here then. So I did not pour the concrete in this garage. I did build the saw horses that are exact. So it's so, about the same? Yeah, right there, it's the exact same. That um, is dead. I'll let you oh. take that up with Jerry Swartz. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, you're, going yeah. back, you're going back down real quick now, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, tag it for a move. All right. Wait. Well, man, behind the scenes, considering what we were dealing with, yeah, that's I a, mean, it's half gap eight, man. <laughs> you considering know, you know, it's a quarter twenty bolt in there. You're not selling the inch <laughs> no. and a half gap there, bud. That's a bigger bolt. I got it covered up. No, zoom I in on know. it. You can see it then. <laughs> All right. I think the last two things we probably need to do to this is I'm just putting this up here for an example. We'll cut two gussets to go, bam and bam. We kind of put those at a 45 degree angle. It'll take the side to side and then the back and forthy. We get the end plates covered on this thing. Yeah. I think after that, we need to mount the laminator on it and then yeah. we just need to make a system to pin it off. Yeah. We're good to go. Huh. Well, I went way faster than the other part. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, guys, if you look out the window, I know it's, there's a glare, you're gonna see a red truck going up the drive. Just give it a second, there it goes, right there. Yep, there he goes. He's headed to Florida on vacation to Disneyland or something like that. So, uh, as he was saying, we got everything. I got that inch gap roughed in. I got it filled in, you can see there, that big gap. I got it all filled in, which I ain't leaving it like that. I'm gonna dress it up. But anyways, I got that filled in. I wanted to make sure I could get that. Uh, everything else is uh, ready to weld out. So I'm gonna set you guys up and let you watch.
so I finished all the welding uh, the end caps I ain't done yet but uh, I didn't want to bore you with them yet well I got to cut them out yet so I got these end caps put on but uh, got all the welding done fixed up his big boo-boo back here where I had an inch gap dressed it up a little bit got all that done so this thing is seal welded all the way around uh i think that's it get them end caps on all oh, and we got the gussets got to put them gussets on there uh but yeah that should wrap up all the welding on this thing it should be ready to hook up and then we got hoses and everything else we got to do but uh as far as my part it's done all right catch you up to speed you know mr dp's on vacation he done took off uh, an hour and a half ago so uh found a piece of scrap laid over there in my treasure chest and uh what i did is uh i'm doing his job he was supposed to have all these cut out these are the end caps uh i got one cut out right here so there's three more marked out that will go right here they'll go on right like that and be welded out um yeah, since he didn't get them done, I guess uh, I'm going to take care of that for him. Uh, then I'll get these here welded on, so uh, I'll probably set you guys up and uh, let you guys watch doing that. And then that should wrap that up besides some gussets, but I'm feeling kind of sick. He's gone. I'm the boss now, so I might go home early. So I got the end caps welded on. I, by the time I buffed that weld down, buffed these side welds down a little bit, I ended up having to run another pass in here just to decorate it up because of the weld that's actually on the square tubing main support there, I was sticking out. So I had to put another pass on the bottom of them. Uh, but uh, yeah, got all four caps on now. I'm just praying that I didn't have any tools or anything sitting inside these. Ow, that's hot. That is hot. Uh, because I put them caps on, I didn't think about it. I am a tape measure short. Uh, I'm hoping it's not up in there somewhere. If not, I'll just blame it on Mike, say it's his fault. So say he lost it. But uh, all right, I think I got everything done besides them two gussets, uh, which ain't nothing to put them on. So there you guys have it. Good morning, man behind the scenes. You know what we're doing today? No, DP, what are we doing today? <laughs> well, I'm going to go on vacation, because that's what I do all the time. I'm going to leave you behind to do all the work. <laughs> well, that ain't no different than any other day. You're right about that. So what are we doing today? I told you, I'm going on vacation, and you're going to work. <laughs> All right, I'll do it, buddy. All right, good morning, guys. As we know, Michael's on vacation. Uh, so here I am. I thought I was done. Uh, come in this morning, uh, dress up a few things on the eliminator attachment for the uh, taco, and uh, see a problem here. Now, for the record, these welds here are not my welds, okay? Them are not my welds. Now, I don't know who welded these, uh, wherever it came from. You know, we bought this thing assembled. 
But I come over here and that weld, I don't know if you can see it, was not even close to being tied in. So I guess I'm gonna have to get a clamp on this, get this pulled back down where it goes and get that welded off. Uh, I'm really glad that it that it uh, broke here in the shop with nothing on it versus uh, when we had it out there on the taco with the eliminator saw on it. So I guess uh, my next step is getting this pulled back down and actually putting a good weld on it. So that's, uh, that's what's gonna start my morning. Then we'll move on to the next project. So after uh, getting three C clamps, vice grip, porter power out, uh, I got that back in, welded out, polished up, and also went ahead and rewelded this side out. So they should be good to go now. The other side, I'm a little iffy about it. Uh, I'm gonna wait till Michael gets back or go look at another uh, attachment plate for a skid steer and uh, see if I need to add more weld to that side. But uh, for now, I'm gonna pull it off the new saw horses and uh, we'll get uh, back to our regularly uh, scheduled program. All right, now onto the project that uh, we were gonna start on uh, first thing this morning, but got uh, sidetracked by the attachment for the skid steer for the limb saw. Uh, we got the root rake back up here, the root rake on steroids. Um, uh, it looks more like it needs to go on the dozer, not the uh, skid steer, but anyways, we got it back up on the table. Um, I think I'm gonna start by uh welding the actual attachment plate off i'll get the welds done on it that way i know it's all good and also it'll give me time because like these welds here i think i'm gonna go ahead and put more weld in there on them them are the factory welds or wherever they put this thing together i uh, just don't like it and uh i'm gonna go ahead and re-weld both of them and uh weld this out to the actual root rake and then i'll start on the root rake getting it welded out uh i started welding the actual frame the square tubing i'm gonna finish that up get that all finished up too and then as far as the teeth go or the rippers whatever you want to call them i'll start welding them out last so i'll set you guys up on a time lapse and let you all watch All right, guys, so uh, I got everything welded out of here. Let's clean that up. But uh, went ahead and re-welded them. Uh, one thing I wanna point out, see I got them welded out solid now, is uh, what I found is a lot of stuff like pinholes, porosity. Um, one crucial thing, as you can see, I ain't uh, the slickest welder, but uh, what I do is I watch and make sure that I'm tying in to both pieces of metal. On that pass that they ran, you can see clear as day where it wasn't even tied in to this piece here. 
so I think their biggest problem was they were just trying to run a quick pass in there. They didn't care. They don't take any pride in their work. It's the biggest thing there, and evidently they ain't got anybody uh, inspecting the wells. I know in the boiler life we have a QC quality control guy that comes around and inspects all the wells, make sure that they are good. But uh, I don't think they got one there. Uh, they can't have because everything I see, uh, this thing would have been going back up on the table and rewelded getting re-welded but uh anyway so i got everything welded out here i did not get everything cleaned up but everything's welded out on this side now i'm gonna roll it and start welding uh welding out the actual teeth the rippers the shanks whatever you want to call them and uh i'll set you guys back up and let you watch All right, I got uh, almost all the welding done. I flipped this over. Um, for one reason, I've got, that's where we had to angle them teeth or them rippers. So I got a bigger gap, so I wanted to make sure that they were flat so I get a good weld on them. Um, but uh, anyways, I got this side to weld out yet. And uh, down here, I got, you can see where I done started welding them out. But uh, then once I get uh, this side done, it should be all welded out. I got everything welded then. So i uh, probably set you guys back up so uh, you can watch again. Alright guys, I got it finished. Everything's done. I'm hungry. I'm lonely because I didn't have anybody here today. Um, but I did get it finished up. Everything is welded out. 100% weld out is done. Um, there's a little bit of cleaning up whenever my pimp gets back from his vacation. I'm going to have him brush everything up. I had two little episodes uh, happen. One, I've been keeping that door cracked over there and I keep the exhaust fan on. Well, uh, what happened was, is I guess it got a little windy outside and I got a good gust of wind coming in through the door and got some frosty. And then uh, I also ran out of gas. So I had, uh, there's actually three spots that uh, DP's gonna have to clean up. I'm gonna leave that for him. I did all the hard work, so I'll let him uh, him go ahead and clean everything up so well there it is completely welded out 
I can set it off the uh, new saw horses and uh, clean up and then I'm gonna go eat. Hey man, behind the scenes, you did a great job today. Hey, thank you DP, I'm, uh, I appreciate that. You're the hardest worker I've ever met. Man, I wish I could be just like you. Yeah, one day uh, you'll be just like me, bud. Just stick with me. All right, so as you guys know, Michelle has been on vacation once again uh, for the past week. So uh, I know this ain't no Cinderella story, but uh, uh, what's the phrase? How's it go? The saying, um, when the cat's away, the mice will play. Well, uh, that's what I was doing. So uh, I played hooky from work for a day, and I brought the taco with the brush cutter out to my house and i did not get any videos i was kind of in a hurry just trying to get this done but i wish i would have because this from up there behind uh the old truck in the jeep it was just all grown up so i brought it out i cleared all this out uh saved a lot of the smaller trees which are dogwood trees that i should have took down most of the stuff that came down in here was mm, roughly uh, from saplings to maybe three to four inches around. Um, basically, I, I like trees. Michael don't like trees. Uh, I want to save all the trees I can. But uh, I did want to clean it up because it was getting overgrown uh, with briars, vines. Vines were killing out the trees, so I wanted to clean it up a little bit. So... While he was on vacation, I figured I'd play hooky for a day, clean that up, and then over here along the drive, um, so the woods line actually came out, so you can kind of see where the tree is here. If you look over about 20 foot, the tree line was all the way over there. So I wanted to get it pushed back up along the drive. So I cleaned all that up and then went through and knocked all the saplings, tried getting all the vines. There is a little bit of hand work to do that, uh, uh, I think uh, I'll let the wife handle that. But uh, anyway, so I got it all cleaned up now. And eventually, I'm hoping, uh, whenever Michelle decides to quit taking all these vacations, we get this hill knocked out. Uh, basically, I'm going to go up on top. It kind of drops down. And I'm wanting to shove that hill down to level this drive out right here. So in the wintertime, it ain't as bad to get out. Me, I like it uh the wife and the kids they don't like it so hopefully i can get that knocked out sometime soon but then i also cleared all this out to kind of match what i had before up here so this little section here i had done when we had moved out here and i started uh developing everything put the building pad in and everything but this this opens it up so now you can actually see the lake through here before you couldn't see it it was kind of like it's dark i know you can't hardly see but it was more like that so now you can actually look down and see the lake when you're coming down the drive and then uh, another thing i did was the lake dam which i'll take you over there and then i can kind of show you an idea of i left a couple trees to show you what i was taking down um which i'll have to get them after i get done but uh I'll take you guys over there and show you the lake dam all right uh, got you over on lake dam i'll kind of show you what we've got so um along the edge here i had some maples that were growing up some cedars that were growing up so i gotta clean it all out yet but you can see where i was taking some of them smaller trees out uh i do not want the trees in that uh dam line there so uh took them out it what's bad about it is is it's hard for me with the tractor and the brush hog to mow this um uh, lawnmower i used to bring over here and i was mowing it and i kept falling in the lake so i kind of let that first i don't know two foot i let it go and wasn't mowing it well then these trees they were popping up everywhere so uh i wanted to get rid of them so i had uh had a couple clusters i did leave that uh willow over there i left it uh i do like it but basically these were some of the bigger trees that I, were, I was getting into taking down on Lake Dam, which you can see that one there. It's it's roughly about six inches, which is a lot of the times more than what it wants to handle, but you can kind of see the size of the tree. But um, anyways, I had a lot like that. It does need cleaned up. I didn't want to sit there. Basically, I was dropping them just to see what it would do. I didn't want to sit there and chew them up. Uh, the smaller stuff I did uh, chew up, but uh, this is kind of 
what I was taking down, I let them just kind of show the size of the trees I was taking down. Um, but from here over, I kind of let, kind of took everything out, left a few trees that I might have to cut down with the chainsaw. But uh, other than that, besides for a little bit of cleanup that I think the tractor can handle now, uh, which I just got a little 35 horse. So I think, uh, I think I got it to where uh i can come over and start brush hogging it and hope hopefully keep it clean now um ran into a few episodes while i let it grow up with uh sliding on this thing mowing it uh whether i go up and down or i go sideways on it uh had a lot of sliding going on and that was the reason it kind of got grown up but uh with uh, flooding the tires now, I think that's going to help. So uh, hopefully I can start brush hogging this and keeping it mowed down. Below the lake dam, I left it all grown up. Uh, mainly for uh, wildlife. I uh, wanted them to have it. So, And like I said, I love trees. So I left everything below the dam, but I want to try to keep this dam clean from here on out. So uh, got it all done. So now I guess it's uh, it's time to head back to the shop and uh, get started on the next project. All right, made it back to the shop now. Got the Takahuchi pulled in. Uh, it's a sad, sad day here at uh, Dirt Perfect headquarters. Uh, job that he's got me wanting to do is something that I don't wanna do. I felt that he needed to do it, is uh, clean up this mess over here um i fight it and fight it because uh it's like this this piece here yeah it's junk to most people but you know how collectors are you got people that collect bottles coins stamps well i collect metal reason i collect it is because 90 percent of uh, michelle's cuts uh i need a piece of filler because i got a one inch gap which that's when this comes in perfect but uh, that he don't like. He don't like my little pieces of uh, rebar I've been saving. Um, he don't like my little plates that I've been saving. But uh, I don't know uh, if any of you guys work with metal a lot like I do. But uh, all this is usable and saves a lot of money. I know it don't make money, but it saves a lot of money when you need a little piece. But it's his shop his rules i guess so uh i guess i'm gonna start cleaning this uh <laughs> this metal rack up um i'm very proud i did not build this metal rack but whoever did i am very proud of them it's uh it's probably holding up over uh i'd say probably close to eight nine hundred pounds right now so uh, they did a really good job on that metal rack i'm impressed and tickled that it's still standing but Anyways, uh, I'll get you guys set up so uh, you can watch me, uh, I guess, destroy my my gold mine here that uh, has really helped me out in the past. But uh, I'll get you guys set up and you can watch me uh, clean it up.
All right, I'm getting close, getting real close to wrapping up. Uh, kind of organized the way I want it. So I got all the pins in here, but I got the round stock and the small little bit of all thread we had, and a couple pieces of little rebar that I am saving that he want me to throw away. Some rectangular tubing, square tubing, your smaller square tubing, your square stock. Kind of put it all right there. We ain't got much left. Them are all, that's all we've got left. So I went ahead and saved all that. More pins. Uh, here, just miscellaneous. Now you get down the next shelf. Not counting the beautiful arrow we got, but I uh, kind of went from thin to thick. So you're, you're like a 16, 12 gauge to your, uh, eighth inch quarter inch three sixteenths uh half five eighths is up here down below right down there i'm gonna put all the three quarter inch and inch and a i think it's an inch and an eighth it's weird size but i'm gonna put it all down below but then uh his uh form stakes he's got a few of them i'm gonna keep them up here just in case we do need them for something uh miscellaneous your pipe put it all right there uh muffler uh pipe uh flex pipe put it all right there the bigger uh square tubing we got i stuck on this end here so we got our four inch five inch six inch uh more miscellaneous this is like long sticks of angle one by one half by half angle uh long stick of a uh, half half by half uh square stock uh pto shaft drive which is long stick yet um this i don't know why he's got pvc over here on the metal rack but i went ahead and kept it in here this is one of his uh concrete rake extensions uh left it in here the long piece of all thread flat bar the flat bar i stuck right here uh, i'm down to uh getting what i got laid out here cut down so it ain't got all the sharp edges get rid of all the junk on it and that piece there dress it up to where i can get it stored in there but uh hey, it does look a lot better i hate getting rid of what i'm getting rid of but uh might as well do it time to clean up shop we're getting ready to hit the fields and the dirt again so uh i think what's said and done it'll uh, look pretty good All right, guys, uh, got that wrapped up. So there is the metal rack, the new and improved metal rack. Uh, like I was telling you how I got everything organized, big, medium, right there, and then kind of goes down to small, your square tubing. Kind of like I explained before where everything's at, but I got everything cut off, got all the sharp edges gone, got everything stashed away, somewhat nice and neat now. Uh, didn't have near as much junk as I thought I was going to have. Still more than I'd like. I'd like to save a lot of that, but uh, I guess scrap price is up right now, so we're going to get rid of it. Um, I think that should wrap it up for shop class. So uh, hopefully when uh, Michelle gets back from vacation, we're ready to hit it hard and uh, be out in the dirt playing. Um, one thing I was asked uh, a couple times is just... It's weird because it was a question I didn't think I'd ever get asked, but I was asked what music I listen to. So, I mean, it's going to blow a lot of people's minds. Some people are going to guess it right off the bat, but I kind of like a Mariah Carey, Miley Cyrus, Billy Ray Cyrus kind of guy is what uh, what I listen to most of the time when I'm welding. That, that is a joke. That is a joke. Complete joke. Don't ever, don't ever think that that's what I listen to. No, I am a uh, Whiskey Myers, uh, uh, Whiskey Myers kind of guy, Jester James, uh, music like that is what I usually listen to. Classic rock, old classic rock. So I say old, I'm talking 60s, 70s, early 80s, maybe some mid 80s, but uh, I like classic rock. Uh, 
So I kind of listen to everything and a little blues jazz mix every now and then when I'm welding. So uh, that's, that's kind of the music that I like. So anyways, got the rack, metal rack wrapped up. So uh, I think we're gonna call her a day. Guys, I am back. Some of you guys may be happy to see me. Some of you guys may want Aaron back. It wasn't a true vacation. It was a work vacation. It was a good trip to Florida. I'm back. Aaron did an awesome job holding down the fort while I was gone. Hopefully you guys enjoyed his video and his uh, commentating a little bit. He got uh, quite a bit accomplished while I was out and we got a lot more coming guys. A lot more coming on the Eliminator build. And uh, we got some other, other little tricks up our sleeves. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did a big old thumbs up, wanna make sure you don't miss us on the next one. Consider subscribing if you haven't. We would greatly appreciate it. That way we can see you on the next one. Later guys.